Hey guys, Crazy Postman here and welcome to another Tesla tutorial. Today I'm going to teach new Tesla owners and future Tesla owners how to use the basic autopilot. Let's go. Alright guys, so just to remember, this is a very basic autopilot tutorial. Autopilot is still in a beta form and you need to be very careful and make sure you read all the instructions before you attempt using it. I'm just going to go over the very basic functions of turning it on and turning it off. Now first of all what you're going to want to know is when you first purchase your Tesla there's going to be a calibration period where you cannot activate autopilot and this is normal it normally lasts 30 to 60 miles and this is just for the cameras to calibrate themselves. So for basic autopilot what you're going to want to do is make sure you're in your lane and you're going to pull down on the stock twice. And now auto steer is activated. Now you need to keep holding the wheel because it is in a beta form and you have to be able to take over immediately if something happens. But my favorite place to hold the wheel is just to rest my hand down here. Now you see this truck pulling out in front of me? Autopilot saw that and slowed the car down. That's something you're going to have to be aware of because sometimes autopilot overreacts if somebody crosses in front of you. Now, you just saw I had to hit the brakes and disengage autopilot. That is because this light turned red and basic autopilot will not stop at red lights. You're in control of that. You have to disengage autopilot and stop the light. Now continuing on at this green light, you can see that it does show the green and the red lights on the screen. It will also show the speed limit signs. And you can see right as we pass that, it changed to 45. So when you get out on the highway, if you pull down on the stock once, that's going to activate traffic aware cruise control. And that's going to just keep you a set distance away from the car in front of you no matter what your cruise control is set at. So now to activate full autopilot with auto steer you just pull down on the stock twice and you see I can I can raise the speed by five miles an hour at a time by quickly pressing up this scroll wheel. You can lower it and raise it one at a time by just moving it one notch at a time. You can also touch the speed limit and it will change to whatever the speed limit is. Now besides that, that's all you have to do. You just have to maintain attentive awareness of the road and you have to keep your hand on the wheel. And now you're using Tesla Autopilot. Let me show you one of the more fun parts of owning a Tesla. There's nobody in front of me or behind me. And I'm gonna launch it. And there's 70. That is one of the major perks of owning a Tesla. It never gets old. That feeling of being pushed back in your seat is awesome. So now you're in autopilot and you want to change lanes. All you do is you're holding the wheel, you hit your blinker once, and you move over to the other lane. Now you can see traffic aware cruise control remained active, but auto steer is now turned off. So that's just something to be aware of. If you disable auto steer by torquing the steering wheel, it still stays in traffic aware cruise control. Now, if you wanna turn off both at the same time, you can either press up on this stock like that, or you can lightly tap on the brake. My preferred method is lightly tapping on the brake, but they both do the same thing. You just need to be very aware when you're in auto steer and when you're not in auto steer because if you're in traffic aware cruise control and you, you think you're in auto steer, your car will go off the road. Let's keep your hands on the wheel at all times and be prepared to take over. So what's going to happen if you don't keep your hands on the wheel? You're going to get a warning down here that says to apply slight turning force to the wheel 
and this blue is going to start flashing. And if you ignore that, the blue will start flashing more urgently, like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put my hand on the wheel so you can see that it feels that my weight is on the wheel. And like I said earlier, the best way to ride that I've found is just to set your hand down there on the bottom and that's enough weight on the wheel for the car to know you're there and you don't have to hold your hands up on it all the time. But you know, that's up to you how you want to hold the steering wheel. Now, if you didn't touch the wheel, you will be put in autopilot timeout. And what I mean by that is it will give you those warnings and if you still do not touch the wheel, the car will come to a stop and turn the hazards on and you will not be able to use autopilot for the remainder of your trip. Also, autopilot has a max speed of 90 miles per hour and if you're in autopilot and you happen to press the accelerator manually and go above 90 miles per hour, you will also be put in autopilot timeout and you will not be able to use autopilot for the remainder of that drive. But thanks for watching this very basic autopilot tutorial. Remember, if you are actually going to get a Tesla or own one now, do please read all the instructions on autopilot in the manual. This is just a very basic tutorial just showing you how to turn it on and turn it off. Now I just wanted to quickly go over some of the autopilot menus. So to get that you hit the little car icon and you go to autopilot. And here you'll see all the options that goes with driving with autopilot. And basically I keep all these on because these are generally good things. Earlier in my video where I explained you could drive off the road if you weren't aware that auto steer wasn't on, emergency lane departure actually took over. You saw the blue line. It took over and pulled me back on the road without me touching the wheel. That was not autopilot. That was the emergency lane departure avoidance. Now I keep this on assist because it will uh, actively tor torque your wheel to help you out. And I keep a uh, forward collision warning on early. Um, it occasionally goes off when it's not necessary. By occasionally, I mean maybe once a month or a few times every couple of months. It, it doesn't go off all the time. Moving up, you can, you can see the speed limit. You can set a relative or absolute speed limit on display where it shows the speed limit here, that will just get bigger when you go above the speed limit. On chime, it's obviously, it'll, it'll make a chime. So here's your autopilot set speeds. When you engage autopilot, the cruising speed will be set by the following. Speed limit of the road will be adjusted by the offset specified, or the current driving speed, whichever is greater. Or current speed, which is obvious, that's the current speed you're going. So. I like it zero, so when I activate autopilot, it will always activate at the speed limit, and then I can adjust it manually if I want to go quicker or not. Now you're going to be limited to five miles per hour on city streets. Once you get out on the highway, you can exceed the speed limit as much as you want, up until the limit of autopilot, which is 90 miles per hour. Auto steer, which that's basically auto that's autopilot you know auto steer that's what keeps you between the lanes so when you activate that you're gonna get a pretty good size disclaimer there telling you that it is a beta you have to pay attention you cannot depend on the car to do the perfect thing a hundred percent of the time it's just there as an assistance feature it is not a full autonomous mode. You have to still pay attention to what your car is doing. The full self-driving visualization preview is basically just where it shows stop signs and stop lights and speed limit signs on the road and various road markings. Now just remember, basic autopilot will not stop for stop signs and stop lights. You are responsible for that. Very important. This brings me to the end of the basic autopilot tutorial. Now, I will have my referral link. I will put it in the description. If you're a future Tesla owner and you haven't ordered one yet, go ahead and use my link before you order. And that way, uh, when you do take delivery, you will get 1,000 free supercharger miles. 
And also, I get 1,000 free supercharger miles. So, if you're a future owner, good luck on your future Tesla purchase. If you're a current owner, uh, you already know how awesome it is. It, it will be impossible for you to go back to a gas car. Thank you for watching this quickie tutorial. Probably not so quickie. It got a little long. But thank you for watching anyway, and I will see you in the next one.